All right, we are back for another episode of the Predictions Game. It's time to recap the round of 16. We had some good uh, on-the-money predictions today, so we're very excited. None more so than Jacob, because you had exactly 20 goals. You were fed up with going either side of it. Yep. Uh, you, out of reluctance, picked an exact number, and you got it on the money. Well played. What can, what, what can I say? I mean... I'm just too good at this. Don't this clap him. It was an absolute I, fluke. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all we do here. Uh, yeah, I, none of us are like genuinely consider it. Yeah, no. It's to be fair, I can't pull out a fluke. So fair play. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we can agree, Christian. Twenty goals exactly on the money. No complaints. Doesn't beat. It. No, it doesn't complain. Uh, so three votes, Jacob. Congratulations. Uh, you've got your triple. Yeah. Uh, what, what more you can say, really? Exactly. That's now, right. The only other prediction we had exactly on the money, which hurts me to the core because it's a terrible prediction. <laughs> Valetti had two out of four New South Wales teams to advance. Two New South Wales teams, Jacob, were playing each other and the other one to go through was, you know, an A-League team against a member-fed team. So that's essentially the expected result to happen. Uh, and it looks like poletti has got two votes here. It kills me. Well, that's the thing, right, is that... <laughs> Yes, it, it seems pretty simple, but they got it right. So, like, you know, what the, what the, were the rest of you guys doing, uh, you know, last week? You know, making stuff up that didn't come true. So, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, so uh... if you get it 100% correct, but if it's just like on a lower bar, does that mm. still equate to, you know, two votes compared to if someone got it wrong? Or if they're close, and it's it, like, I mean, let's hear what, what else there is. Like, like what what were the other? But if it's so, uh, it's not even that simple to be honest. Like the member fed team could have easily won, um, not easily, but it, it might what have happened. But Paletti um, played their cards well, I guess. So they did play their cards well. Look, I think we've established a precedent that if you if you get out hundred percent correct, yeah, it has to be an extremely extremely low bar. To then drop points to someone That's who hasn't saying. got it correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think when there's two that are spot on, obviously, if you've got one that's half guaranteed to happen, you're yeah. gonna drop mm -hmm. points there. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think, I, like I said, what were the other ones from? Because we did these predictions like a fortnight ago. We did. All so. right, let's take a look at them. So we can rule out straight away Will and Chris because Will had Harry Sawyer and Spirit to both score a goal, and neither of them got. Uh, a score. Uh, Chris had the Jets to win and Lockie Rose to score the winner. Of course, the Bulls got the job done over the Jets. Lockie Rose didn't even score. Set up a nice goal, though. Uh, so we have three that were somewhat correct. Um, Christian, I think yours was always going to be somewhat correct because you made eight different predictions. <laughs> if, it, I, if none of them were ever correct, that would have been genuinely impressive. <laughs> it would have been very impressive. Uh, but you've gone at five out of eight is what we've come to. I'm not going to repeat all the, the predictions because there's no point. <laughs> you've only done slightly better than 50-50, so I think you're on the low-end chance of, of pulling a vote here. I'll take it. I'll take it depending on the other um, predictions. Then I guess I'm in with the shot, so I'll take it. <laughs> I've just said you're on the low end of the chance of getting a point. <laughs> That's that's much higher than he usually is. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll take it. <laughs> so you're telling me there's a chance. I right, okay. the other ones. So the other ones to contend with, we have myself. I said there would be no cup sets. So member fed over A-League teams. Of course, there was one, but it was largely due to the Perth Glory red card. So I feel like I've done well to get close there. But the other serious competition is then from Ross, who said that South Melbourne, Oakley and Melbourne Serbia would all win plus one additional cup set. So South and Oakley progressed. Melbourne Serbia, Melbourne, Serbia did not. They fell 1-0 uh, mm -hmm. to Hume. But there was the cup set with Morton City mm -hmm. over Perth Glory as well. So it's up to those three. Jacob, you're, you're the neutral party here. Am I? <laughs> well, yes. More neutral uh, than Christian. More neutral That's than cool. Christian is, yeah. Um, oof, it's, yeah. Um, I do like Ross's because he only got one portion of it incorrect and it was a tight game as well, that one. The Melbourne mm. Serbia and Hume game it ended up only 1-0 at the end of it. So, you know, that's pretty close. Lockie, obviously, you were a bit unlucky with that red card, mm. um, which sort of doomed yours. Um, but then, yeah, oh, can you call it a cup set when there's a red card, you know, and... It's 11 versus 10, you know. No, don't even go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, Chris, so, Christian, um, I will give you, you we'll give you props because you did get more than half of it right. Which, uh, you know, we've sort of in the past gone on about can you give points to somebody who only gets something half right? And obviously, Lockie and I had the massive falling out over that because we were both half right a couple of weeks ago and just <laughs> I was more as, half right than you were. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. Uh, agree to disagree. <laughs> honestly, I think Ross deserves the point. To only get that one wrong. I mean, he's got what Oakley and South Melbourne correct. Melbourne Serbia, they only just lost one nil, and then obviously Morden City with the the got cup the, set. I mean, upset. yeah. For you, lucky, it was sort of expected that there were going to be no cup sets, but and then to not for that not to play out in Morden to get the win despite the red card. I think, I think Ross just edges it. Okay, me. well, okay. Let me let me go on here. If you're talking about expected results, South Melbourne, we're up against Olympic. South Melbourne currently have two pieces of silverware already on the season. They're playing South up for a third. South were down 2-1. Yes, they were down 2-1, but they were playing at home. They, they've already won two pieces of silverware this season. Yeah. Oakley won against Heidelberg United, who's mm-hmm. in the NPL Grand Final uh, for Victoria on the weekend. It's Oakley, not Heidelberg. They didn't make it. So if we're talking about expected results... I think those two were expected and he picked Melbourne Serbia, got that one wrong against Hume City and then picked just for one of a few cup sets to happen. Are they more expected cup to sets? win but than league teams beating member fed teams though? No, but I'm saying, you know, I've got a few matches in there. I've got Melbourne victory. I've got Adelaide United. I've got Western Sydney. I need those three but games let's to come be, off let, and I got those. Let, let's be realistic. Of those three games that you just listed though, only one of them was a realistic prospect of a cup set, which is which. Which one was that? Adelaide United. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, like the victory and Wanderers have looked so good already this preseason. We're talking expected results. I mean, <laughs> there's there's two absolute guarantees right there, and both of them ended up four nil as well. Might add also <laughs> the fact that you're discounting Heidelberg United, who it's not like they were relegated from MPL Victoria or anything. Like they're a very good side. They finished fourth, didn't they? So, yep. <laughs> like, again, you're talking expected results. I mean, a one-all is probably the expected results. And then penalties, it can, it's just a toss-up. So, you know, you can't say for sure that one team's going to win on penalties. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you, you want to argue expected results. But I think that it comes back to hurt you just as much as it might benefit you. Yeah, all right. I see the logic there. Ross, congratulations. <laughs> I will concede. You can have the points. Uh, I fought hard, but uh, logic outdoes me, as it usually does. So there you go. We have Jacob with the three, Pauletti with the two. That's so gross. Get and then it. Ross with the one on the board uh, in consecutive weeks. Here is the table for preseason so far. I started strong, but I've really fallen off. This is not good. And we only have a few rounds to go as well. We've got mm. the quarters, the semis, uh, and the final. So a maximum of nine points up up for grabs for any one player. Uh, so plenty to play out in preseason. Let's look ahead to the quarterfinals. Of course, we've got four big games coming up. Uh, we have Adelaide against the Wanderers, Hume against South. Uh, of course, that matchup was just played in the MPL Victoria semifinals. So that's an interesting uh, rematch to look out for. Morton City against Melbourne Victory and then Oakley Cannons against MacArthur FC. Christian, why don't you kick us off? What's your prediction for the quarterfinals? Okay, so four legs this time, not eight, obviously. That's we kind of. That's very, <laughs> I'm just going to go for every team you know, to win each game. So I've gone victory to go through, uh, Oakley Cannons to beat Macarthur, Western Sydney Wanderers to beat Adelaide. I'll be shocked if the Reds win. Um, Jacob, yeah, back me, Jacob uh, yeah, <laughs> so, and then the last game, I'm going to go with South. I think they're just on a bit of a roll at the moment. So those four teams to progress. I'll be shocked if I get more than one wrong, but hey, it's me. So, you know. <laughs> so this is this is fascinating because I also had a very similar idea. I wanted to pick all four winners. Um, I am going to do that because your predictions were slightly different to what I had in mind. So I don't feel bad about somewhat copying you. I agree, Wanderers, South and Victory, but I'm going to tip MacArthur to beat Oakley Cannons. I was impressed uh, with MacArthur. I know they conceded a couple of goals early, uh, but I think Luke Bratton will just work his way into this team more and more every game and help dictate uh, the field of play. And I think uh, MacArthur will get it done. Oakley, of course, off the back of a long season as well. So Mm -hmm. that's my prediction. Uh, Let's go now to Ross. My prediction is South Melbourne win 2-0 over Hume City. And then Oakley Cannons beat MacArthur. And I know I'm going to say that because I know Paletti's going to absolutely hate it. So they're both going to happen. 
<laughs> I like that. I like the. Uh, I like the recognizing that Paletti will hate it. That's brilliant. <laughs> so, a specific scoreline for South mm. Christian. It's always risky. Always risky, but if it pays off like Jacobs with twenty exact goals, and you get the you get the reward at the end of the day, he'll get the three votes, no question. So, um, he does have another game though to go with it. So, mm. I mean, if he gets the correct scoreline, though, I think he's just about got it. Uh, See, I kind of like it because even though you three all sort of have similar predictions, it's these little things can happen that could give one of you the edge over the other. And it's, yeah. you know, it, it's not just results based because obviously, Lockie, you want a different result in one game to the others. And then um, Ross wants an exact score line. And, <laughs> you know, it's just all these little things could come into play. Kind of reminds me of the final day of last season where, mm. you know, it's like uh, there were a couple of results where if they happened, it would have, you know, given you points, not given me points and vice versa. So, <laughs> no, it's, it's awesome. It's already coming down to this. <laughs> Absolutely. And Ross is going hard because he is yeah. in the chase for the preseason yeah. cup. So, uh, yeah, he's had well a good done. run. So, well done to him. Absolutely. Okay, let's go to Paletti. All right. So, my prediction for the quarterfinals is all three A League men's teams to advance, obviously, with the Wanderers and Adelaide United facing off. Only one of them can advance, so one goes through by default. Therefore, all three A-League men's teams to advance. All three. All three. Okay, interesting. Um... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm guessing all... it's because they know that one of them's going to be knocked out. because it's Okay, a, the, yeah, the let's Adelaide say three. Wanderers. I reckon plenty yeah. means just three. Yeah. As in yeah. what, A-League clubs or? Three mm-hmm. A-League clubs, yeah. Oh, okay, because obviously Oakley. Western and Adelaide. Yeah, so they're essentially saying the same as me, except they're not putting anything on the line for Human South. Mm. And they're also not saying which of Wanderers or Adelaide is going to go through. True, Just that okay. One of them will. Um, well, does that mean it's two but... A-League teams? Because obviously one's going to go through. So the two others, yes, but there will be three A-League teams that will be in the That's what I'm saying. So it actually doesn't yeah. really count, does it? Well, yeah, that they, get... they do have a habit of choosing these yes, ones where half of They just of got two done. points for it. Yeah. <laughs> That's I guess true. it's like slightly superficially better than not predicting the game at all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> three sounds better than two. No, I guess. Yeah, yeah. No, fair enough. Okay, so Pauletti just needs Victory and MacArthur to get the job done and then not taking the risk with Human South. Uh, as Christian and I are interesting. Okay, Jacob, why don't you go? Is it going to be surprising to anybody that I'm highly pessimistic about Adelaide United's chances (laughs) and that my prediction is that the Wanderers will continue their goal-scoring form and put four past the Reds? Four goals? I think so. With the the way that the Adelaide have defended so far, um, shipping goals to MPL opposition just for fun, um, I don't see them standing up well to a Wanderers side that looks to be already in mid-season form. So it could be an absolute bloodbath. There you go. Okay, wow. A bloodbath predicted uh, for the Reds by Jacob. Uh, let's go to Will. I'm going to keep it pretty simple for me this round. I'm going to go a little multi. Um, I want South Melbourne to beat Hume. Victory to beat Morton City. MacArthur over Oakley and Western Sydney Wanderers beat Adelaide for me. So just a nice, simple little multi there. All right, there are our predictions for the quarterfinals of Australia Cup. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen in the next round? Whose prediction is most likely to come off? Competition is getting fierce for the preseason cup, but we'll see you next time for the semifinals.